Hey vapers and YouTubers, Mr. Rogue Senior here. Today I'm gonna do a review on the Panzer and the 454. Uh, both of them are clones. Uh, the Panzer was like 27, 26, 27 bucks from Fast Tech, and the Addy was like 12, 10 or 12, 13 bucks, something like that. And the Addy did come with the drip tip. The drip tip's a little different. It's got holes drilled in the side of it rather than a hole at the bottom. I've got a dual coil uh, 22 gauge nichrome sitting at 0.1 ohms. You, def you don't have to go that low by any means, but I cloud chase and I also like a uh, 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 nice flavor and I get both from uh, this setup right here. <clears throat> I upgraded the the, uh, the switch from a spring to magnets, and I also upgraded the contacts, both of which I, uh, the contacts and the ma uh, magnets, I got from Fat Daddy, and I only buy the magnets from Fat Daddy one time because I measure them out with a caliper, and then if I need them again, I know exactly what I I can buy, and I can get the magnets from uh, K&J Magnetics on the internet, which are, they're really cheap. Uh, the, the last set of uh, magnets that I bought for, uh, for my Stingray, I think they, I think it was the the 2.0 switch or button, fire button. Uh, I think they were like 38 cent a piece. It was more for shipping for the magnets for the Stingray than it uh, was for the actual magnets themselves. But you know, you can buy 10 of them and you'll have uh, magnets for yourself and magnets for you know me. I like to buy a little bit more in case you know somebody uh, uh, wants to upgrade and. I make my money back right then and there just by selling one set of magnets. So, but anyway, uh, you get uh, excellent vapor production out of this. Let me make sure my wicks lined up. Uh, 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 great flavor, great vape. Uh, looks really nice. I think. I think this is where the 454 is going to stay uh, on top of the Panzer. Uh, you know, I've tried other uh, Addies on there, and, uh, you know, they look decent. But I think the the 454 by far looks the best on top of the Panzer. Because uh, the Panzer is like uh, 25 millimeters, and uh, it's a little bit uh, uh, wider than your uh, the 22 millimeter uh, uh, Addies that are out. But all in all, it looks great. Vape's really nice. I'm going to put some liquid on here. This is uh, my E-Juice company, uh, American Cheesecake E-Liquid. Website isn't up yet. This is uh, uh, Caramel Coconut Cheesecake. Battery's about uh, maybe half charged. I probably should change it out, but it should suffice for uh, this video. The vape is a little warm, uh, as it should be at uh, 0.1 ohms. Uh, you definitely don't have to build that low. Uh, you can if you want to. It looks nice in there. It's clean. That's uh, 22 gauge nichrome. And uh, I think it's a 4 or 5 wrap on each. Come out to 0.1 ohm. Run a 1 8 drill bit. 1A drill bit for me is pretty much standard because I can hit uh, hit my targets that I'm looking for using the, the, the standard 1A drill bit. But the flavor is really nice on this. Uh, the vapor production is excellent. As you can tell, I'm not really taking really long drags. I mean, I can. But I'm not cloud chasing right now. I'm just uh, doing a review for you guys so you can uh, get the gist of uh, what it looks like together. Which it does look very, very nice. It looks uh, uh, 
uh, sleek. Uh, the Panzer is a 205 gram uh, uh, in weight by itself without a battery, and then you add the Addy on it, so you're probably looking at about roughly 250 grams of copper right around there, maybe 260. And then you add the battery in there and everything like that, so that probably total weight is probably over 300 grams. But it's really, really nice. Uh, it looks it looks nice. It definitely looks manly, that's for sure. Uh, not that the women wouldn't like it either. But it, the vapor production for this particular build that I have in here is uh, really, really nice. And like I said, the flavor is, uh, I know what this is supposed to taste like. And... Uh, I'd have to say uh, it's on point as far as what it's supposed to taste like uh, compared to uh, other builds that I put on stuff like uh, Vape Jam and this thing right here. But this one is, uh, this uh, particular mod I do enjoy. As a matter of fact, I just got the, the Copper 454 today. I have a, uh, the stainless steel one and uh, that's got a... a a quad coil on it sitting at 0.11 ohms and that's a beast you uh, with this particular build you will go through your juice as you should know if you're a, a, a cloud chaser But uh, for my other videos, you know, I don't post stuff unless uh, uh, you get a good value out of it. Uh, and the, the vape production and flavor have to be on point also. So, But uh, for the price that you pay for this total, you can't beat it. It's under 60 bucks, so uh, without the battery. So it's definitely worth... Uh, a look see and, a, and maybe even a try if you like the way that it looks I definitely recommend it and uh, peace vapors and youtubers